In this video, we will learn about how to create a regular pentagon whose side is 30 mm and the pentagon one of its side or edge is resting on the HP and the resting edge is inclined at 45 degree to VP. The surface of the pentagon is inclined at 30 degree to HP. So two inclinations are given here. One is the surface inclination which is 30 degree and the edge inclination is 45 degree with the VP. So if the surface inclination is 30 degree with the HP, then we have to draw the pentagon on the horizontal plane that is your XY plane. So first let us draw the pentagon on the XY plane and then we will try to incline the edge at an angle of 45 degree and then let's try to rotate the surface at an angle of 30 degree. Let's jump on to the Autodesk Fusion 360. Click on create sketch. Since the edge is resting on the HP, so let's select the XY plane or the top plane for drawing our sketch and let's make the pentagon over here. So for that select the polygon command. You can select any one of it over here. So let me select the circumferential uh, option. So circumscribed polygon. Click here and move your mouse so that here you will get the number of sides. Here I need the number of sides as 5 and one side should be vertical. So for that, let me keep the mouse like this and then click over here. Now provide the dimension for this. To go for the dimension type D and give the dimension. So the dimension of each side is 30 mm and make sure this edge is vertical. So to make sure this edge is vertical, apply the vertical constraint to this edge. Now the pentagon is drawn. Now let me make this pentagon as a plane. To do that finish sketch, go to surface, select patch and then select this boundary so that it will create a plane based on the pentagonal boundary and give OK. So to make this edge, so now you can see here the edge is vertical. To make this edge rotating, I need an axis perpendicular to any one of this point. So let me create an axis perpendicular to this point along the plane. Okay. So to do that go to construct and select axis perpendicular to the face at point. Select this option. So here select the plane and then select this particular point and give OK. Now if you click on the home command you can see the axis which is passing through that particular point. Now you can do the edge inclination first or surface inclination first. Any one you can do. Now let us try to do the edge inclination and then let's try to do the surface inclination. Both you can do simultaneous, sorry, that is one after another. Is either you can do the edge inclination first and surface inclination next or you can do the surface inclination first and do the edge inclination next. You can do it by any way. So let's try to do the edge inclination. So here you can see in the top view. So this is the edge we want to incline at an angle of 45 degree. So for that go to solid. Go to the modify tab and click on move or copy. So in this one, 
let's try to select this plane so this plane has to be selected and the rotation option is enabled and the axis is this axis so here you can see the rotation you can see here so it's exactly perpendicular and this is the rotation i want to do so the rotation angle is 45 degree let me make 45 degree inclination and then give ok now you see here it's inclined at an angle of 45 degree so this edge is inclined now you can see here this is the inclination we had done okay so now let's try to make the surface inclined at an angle of 30 degrees the surface should be inclined based on this edge so let's try to make that inclination go to modify move or copy and select this plane and here the axis should be based on this particular edge so let's select this edge now you can see here let's try to keep it front you can see here so now this is the angle of rotation so angle of rotation is 30 degrees and give ok So now we have made this edge inclined at an angle of 45 degree and the surface at an angle of 30 degrees. So this is the front view after both inclinations final front view and this is the final inclination and the corresponding top view after both inclinations are applied. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.